Now at 5.30, hacked. Tens of thousands of dollars missing in Marshfield. It was the town's money, and community leaders blame cyber thieves. Police think the hacker stole the money from a town-owned bank account. Bill Shields has a closer look. Marshfield, cybercrime here, where they still have a general store? Not even for a moment was I surprised. Recently, town officials noticed their account was short some money, $30,000 to be exact. Marshfield keeps his money in an account at Rockland Trust, and someone managed to hack into the account and siphon off the 30000 I think that it was somebody that um, was able to uh, pull some type of a scam um, and through the unauthorized use of the, of the account was able to uh, withdraw money. To the bank's computers, the thieves must have appeared to be authorized town employees. The hackers were that sophisticated. It's, it's troubling when you know that's out there, but I think it's a good wake-up call. And, and, and again, because of the police department and, and the effort of our team, you know, getting the money back was really critical, and that, that to me um, uh, was the most important factor in all of this. Even here in Marshfield Hills, where the past is valued, current cybercrime is acknowledged. The small town-ishness of this whole thing uh, makes it like, I, I sense that they're more vulnerable to, to that than uh, the, the larger you know, the larger banks are going all, all around Boston. With the advances in technology, we've seen an awful lot of uh, cyber-related crimes. And this is a, one example uh, of that that we saw here in the town of Marshfield. A lot of the cyber crime nowadays comes out of Eastern Europe and Asia. But investigators say in this particular case, it's likely that the thieves were local. In Marshfield, I'm Bill Shields, WBZ News. And in case you're wondering, yes, the bank made good on the money that was stolen from the town's account. David? Well, Lisa,